everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of products that I've forgotten about. I have so much makeup and I just continue to buy more so I forget about a lot of my products. But before we get started make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a future video. So if you would like to see all the products that I accidentally forgot about just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna go in with this Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. So I did get this in my BoxyCharm one month, but I don't really use this a lot. Not just because I forgot about it, but because it's not my favorite brow pencil. I just think it's very thick and it feels pretty heavy on. But I mean, they come out looking okay. I just don't really like how they feel on. I don't know, it's not one of my favorites, but it looks okay right now. I just wouldn't use it every single day. So I think for now it's okay to keep because I mean, it gets the job done, but the next time I do a declutter and I find myself and not using this again, I'll probably get rid of it. Okay, so now to conceal my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with the Billion Dollar Brows Brow Duo Pencil. So this one is a concealer and highlighter and it actually does come with the brow pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the concealer side. And I totally forgot about these Billion Dollar Brow products because I tried them once and they weren't my favorite. So ever since then, I just really haven't used it. And they've been at the bottom of all of my makeup. So whenever I go look for makeup for my videos, I kind of just forget about them. And I'm also gonna put it on my eyelid to prime as well. This product is really creamy and easy to put on, but you can just tell by the quality that it's not that great. And as you can tell, this is a really light color for me, but with these, you don't really get to choose your color. There's just one color for it. And it's just super bright on me, which is another reason why I don't use it very often. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it would be a great base for eyeshadow, but when I touch it a little bit, it starts to come off very easily. So that's something I really don't like about it. So honestly, I probably won't be using this again. Okay, so now onto eyeshadow. I'm gonna be going in with the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales palette, and this is in the Little Briar Rose. I don't know how I forgot about this because the packaging is really cute, and I was actually really excited to get this in my Boxy Charm. I just don't think I've really used this palette at all. But the colors in it are really pretty, so I'm actually really excited to use this. So first I'm gonna go in with Spindle and this formula actually feels really nice going on. It's very smooth and really easy to blend, which I love. And this is a really pretty shade and I feel like if I use this palette more, I would use this specific shade a lot. Because if you saw my favorite lip products video, I do tend to go for lip products that are this shade. So I feel like this would match perfectly with a lot of my lip colors. So now I'm gonna take the shade right here. It's called Briar Rose. And I'm just going to take that shade and put it in my crease. Ooh, and I really like this eyeshadow because it's turning the eyeshadow that I already have on my eye a little bit more pink. Because on my eye, it does look a little bit more purple. But when I add this color, it does look a little bit more pink. So I think that's really pretty. And I've definitely been into more coral and peachy tones lately. I just think they're perfect for summer. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to take the color Kiss right here, and I'm going to take it on my finger, and then just put it on my eyelids. And this shade is so stunning. It's like a pinky red with glitter in it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with my brush, and I'm going to blend that color in a little bit. And I think this is a gorgeous eye color. The glitter on that last eyeshadow wasn't the best. It was kind of moving around and when I blend it in, there's like almost no glitter anymore, which is weird because in the pan, there's a lot of glitter, but that's really my only complaint about this palette. Other than that, the color pigmentation was amazing and it blended out really well. So I'm definitely gonna have to start using this palette more. Okay, and for eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with the Saint Lux eyeliner. This is in the shade Saint Charcoal. So this is a pencil liner, so I'm just going to be doing a smoked out wing on the top. And now I'm just going to get a brush and smoke it out. But this eyeliner has been hiding away for a while. Before when I would see it, I just wouldn't use it because I was always using my Urban Decay black eyeliner. But today I found it all the way at the bottom of my makeup. And I totally forgot that I had it. And I hadn't really used it that much, so I thought I would try it out again. And so far, it's okay. I would definitely pick the Urban Decay and Natasha Denona eyeliners over these, 
Those ones are just a lot creamier and easy to put on. And I wouldn't say this one's too hard to put on, but I definitely need to put more pressure than when I use the other eyeliners. I do think this would be a better liner for going on my waterline than my lid because it was a little hard to blend in. But I do think this is pretty good and I definitely think that I can get some use out of it. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Climax Mascara. I feel like I've had this for quite a while and this one was one that I was waiting to open but then I just forgot about it. But it's one that I really wanted to try because I actually haven't tried this one before. But so far, it's doing pretty good. The product is going on really well and coating my lashes really nicely. But I do find that it's not drying very fast. It's staying kind of wet. So I don't know if other people have that issue with this mascara. But it does make my eyelashes look really long, which I love. And now that it's open, I'm definitely gonna put it in my everyday makeup. Okay, so I did actually forget about a pair of lashes. They are the Velour Luxe Foam Ink Lashes. And they're called Friends Wisp Benefits. And they're really pretty and full. I definitely already wore these once or twice before. When I saw these, I got excited because these were once my favorite lashes. And I just totally forgot about them, I guess. I found them at the bottom of where I keep my eyeshadow palettes. And I can't believe I forgot about these. Like these are my favorite lashes. I really love these because they have such a pretty curl to them. And this is exactly what I want when I want a full lash. And I just love these because it makes your eyelashes look super curled. But at the same time, they're not so big to where they're covering your eyeshadow. And I'm super excited I found these. I'm definitely gonna have to keep them around because they are just so gorgeous. These are just the most beautiful full lashes. And I love them. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna be going with the Pure No Filter Blurring Photography Primer. So I'm honestly not sure why I forgot about this. I don't know if I lost it because I put it with all my minis or if it just fell somewhere because it's so small. But I would use this a lot when I wanted a really pretty glow to my face. But look how pretty it makes the skin by itself. It just has a really pretty glow. But I've always loved this one, so I definitely can't forget about it again. Okay, and for foundation, I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. I can't believe I forgot about this. This was definitely one that I used so much. It was my favorite foundation. This is the one I would wear when I was going somewhere nice. But I guess I forgot about it because when I was looking through my makeup, I found it and I was so shocked that I had forgotten about it. It was hands down my favorite foundation and I would always wear it. And I don't know if I forgot about it because I haven't been going anywhere since quarantine. But even before that, I can't remember the last time I used this foundation. It was so long ago and it makes me sad because this is such a good foundation. And this is definitely not my color anymore, but at one point it was the only foundation I had that matched me. But I'm so glad I found this because it's so good and I'm pretty sure it's still my favorite foundation to this day. So I'm definitely gonna have to start using this more and probably get a different shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one is definitely not that old. I actually got it a few months ago. And I used to wear it so much after that, but I promise you for the last month and a half, I totally forgot that I had this. Like the only ones that I've really been using are the Tarte Shape Tape and also my NARS concealer. But you know, this was just hiding. And when I don't see something for a while, I kind of just forget about it. And I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely been using a lot of the same products lately, which is why I probably forget that I have a lot of products. But the reason why I forget about a lot of my products is because I have all my makeup in one really big box. So every time I use my makeup or when I film a video and I need something specific, I just have to dig through that box and look for makeup. And I'm talking about a giant box. It's a really big box and there's so much makeup in it and a lot of it is just all the way at the bottom, just like scattered. But that is exactly why I forget about a lot of my makeup products. And half of them I haven't even like shown on camera. So I'm definitely gonna try to do my best to start using more products that I haven't used before. I'm also getting a vanity soon, so that'll definitely help me see what I have so I can start using more of my products so they're not going to waste. But I have so much makeup that I haven't even used before, like even off of camera, so you're definitely going to be seeing more products that I haven't shown before. Okay, and for bronzer, I'm going to go in with this Pure Sculptor Bronzer Palette. So it looks like this. It has some bronzers and some highlighters. I'm really not sure when I last used this or if I brought it on camera before but it was definitely hiding away and I totally forgot about it. So I just wanted to try it out again because I don't even think that I've used this more than like five times. And I'm pretty sure I got it like as a BoxyCharm gift, 
I don't really remember, but I've definitely had it since last year and I don't even think I've used it this year yet. And the color I use is this lighter brown, it's called Inventor. And for not using it so much, I really like this bronzer. It goes on super easy and it just looks very nice. But this palette's really good. I'm honestly not sure why I don't use it that much, but definitely gonna have to start using it more. Okay, and for blush, I'm so sad that I forgot about this. This is my favorite blush. It's the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Dolly. So I think I got this last year when I worked at Ulta as like a gratis. And ever since then, I just, loved it so much like i haven't tried a primer infused anything before i tried this and i just feel like it made the blush go on so smooth and it looks so beautiful like there's just a perfect shine to it like most of the time when i would wear this i wouldn't even wear highlighter just because it looks so nice and it makes you look so glowy so i'm super sad that i forgot about this lately but i'm definitely gonna start using it so much more and putting it right on top of my makeup okay and for highlighter i'm going in with the anastasia moonchild glow kit so this is what it looks like it looks so pretty but obviously they are not for every day because there's a lot of blues and purples in here and there's actually even a light green in here since i don't wear these colors often i totally forgot about it and to be honest it wasn't even in my makeup box it was in some other box so i'm gonna use it today i'm gonna try out one of the neutral tones so i'm gonna go in with pink heart it doesn't look very pink but we will see how it looks on my face so i'm gonna try it out i'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on and i know these are really pretty highlights because i do have another glow kit that i use a lot but i just haven't tried this one and honestly i hate that i haven't tried it because i love makeup and i love trying new products so i'm honestly not sure why i haven't even tried it yet but i'm actually really surprised by this even though it doesn't look pink in the pan it actually is really pink on my face and right here you can't really tell because my blush is already super pink but i can tell by up here and then on my nose and i really love pink highlighters i think they're so cute so i'm really glad i tried this but these highlighters are so pretty and such good quality so i'm definitely gonna have to start using them more okay and for lips i'm gonna go in with a gloss i'm going in with the Too faced high shine sparkling lip gloss in crazy rich this is another product that i'm sad that i forgot about like look how pretty that is just the packaging alone and the color it's like pink and sparkly this is literally right up my alley so i don't know why i forgot about it and honestly i don't even think i've used this but I think it would look so pretty with this look, so I'm definitely gonna try it out now. And you guys already know, I've been loving lip glosses lately, so this is just perfect. And this does have a lot of glitter to it, which honestly is probably why I haven't worn it yet, because I don't like glitter too much on my lips. So I actually think it looks really nice. I didn't want to put too much on my lips because I already have on a really bright eye, and my blush is really heavy as well. But I really like it. It has such a pretty shine and it's just so cute. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep this around because it's a nice pretty pink shimmer to my lips. Okay, and for setting spray, I'm going in with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in a rose. I'm pretty sure I got this during a 21 Days of Beauty sale Ulta like over a year ago. And I don't use it that much. Like I would use it on my brushes to make my eyeshadow pop a little bit more. But then I just stopped using it. And I found this in a makeup box that I don't really open that much. So I'm glad I found it because this is actually a really good product. So I'm just gonna put some on and it feels so good and it smells amazing and I remember getting this one because it was like a light pink color because it is in rose but this is a really good product and I'm definitely gonna have to start using it more because I'm starting to run out of my other setting sprays so good thing I found this one okay guys and that is it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and also comment down below if you found any products that you've forgotten about again thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye